another good morning and another welcome to Sunrise with Pastor Hayton. We're delighted to have you join us for four or five minutes here this morning while we just kind of share a little bit with you from our heart. I was seated in my study in the church at Colorado Springs one day. We had a Christian day school as well, so the doors were always open and I was most generally seated there at my desk or there here and about in the school. And so I was seated in that school one, uh, one day, in my office one day. One of the school staff came and said, Brother Hayton, there's somebody out here that would like to talk to you. And I said, well, send them in. And here came a young lady. I don't know. I'm not good at guessing ages. And, of course, when you go to guessing a woman's age or her weight, you're getting on thin ice. So I don't even try to guess weight or age of a lady. So... I would judge her to be maybe in her 30s, so not any older, maybe just a little bit younger. But she's seated in the chair in front of my desk, and I asked her how I could help her, what I could do for her. She said, well, I was just passing by, and something brought me in here. She said, I am just seeking for some answers. And so I began to examine her a little bit about what, uh, what answers she was seeking for. And uh, she was just kind of seeking for truth. And you know, there's always been a great search in the world for truth. Uh, Jesus came along and he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And we know that uh, there's only one way to discover the truth, and that is through God and the revelation that he's given us of his word and by following the Holy Spirit. But this young lady had been greatly disadvantaged. She had been brought up in the home of atheists, and she herself was confused about whether there was a God or not. And as we began to talk, I pulled a Bible off the shelf, and I handed it to her, and she had a strange look as she took the copy of the Bible in her hand, and she said, you know, this is the first time I've ever had a Bible in my hands. Well, I took the Bible from my desk and I began, of course, my intent was to direct her to certain passages of Scripture, but since she knew absolutely nothing about God's Word and was not familiar with the books and the chapters and the verses and all of that, I, I just kind of pulled a chair up beside her and I took the Bible and I began to go over to the Gospel of St. John and began to read about uh, you know, Jesus and how he came to save and how he came to show us the truth. And, you know, the disciples had said, just show us the truth and it sufficeth us. That's all they wanted was what is truth. And as I began to talk about some of the things in the Bible, she looked puzzled and she said, you know, my folks have talked to me about this book and they've told me a lot of things that evidently aren't true about the Bible. They told me about how uh, God just uh, murdered people all the time and, and uh, oh, she just went on and on about some of the most ridiculous things that you could even think of that her atheist parents had told her in trying to dissuade her from believing that the Bible is the Word of God. Well, I know that none of you perhaps have been in a place where you've been searching for truth to the extent that you've never even opened the Bible but I would like to say there's only one way to find the truth, and that is through God, through the reading of His Word, by following the voice of the Holy Spirit. And I do want to know what is truth, because Jesus said, Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And if you're free, then you are free indeed. And, you know, we need to find freedom from sin. We need to find freedom from the burden of sin. We need to find freedom from the terrible consequence of sin in this life. We need to find freedom from how sin will keep us from a place in heaven. And so truth is of utmost importance. And I do believe that we ought to believe God's word as being the truth, even the parts that we don't understand, even the parts that, uh, you know, we scratch our head and say, just what is he trying to say here? And I have to tell you, an old dummy like me, a lot of times I do that. I wonder what in the world God's trying to say here. And uh, yet, you know, it's all there. Every answer to uh, life's problems is found in the Bible. Every solution 
that we need is found in God's Word. And I do believe that we need to put more emphasis upon what thus saith the Lord, because it is truth. And we need truth that will set us free from the wages of sin, from the consequence of sin, from the burden of sin. Share the truth with somebody as you have opportunity. It could be a wonderful experience. I enjoyed sharing the truth with that lady that day. Having prayer, she went her way. I've never seen or heard from her since, so I don't know what the outcome was of the few minutes that we spent together that day, but I pray that it created a hunger to discover the truth of God's Word. Aren't you glad that we have the advantage of being brought up in homes where the truth is taught? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank Thee for Your Word, which is so true. Thou hast said these things are true, and these things are faithful, and we can count on those the things that are written in the book, Lord, to be true. And it is the truth that sets us free. We don't like the burden of sin. We don't like the shame and the guilt and the remorse, the consequence of sinful deeds. And Lord, certainly we don't like sin keeping us from an eternity with God. So may we be able to point people to the truth and may we walk in the truth. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks for letting us share with you today, and we'll see you tomorrow on Sunrise with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.